Season 5 has just released to the public, and in this video we're going to review the brand new season pass as well as some of the new seasonal challenges to help you grind out those seasonal points as soon as possible. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to the Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. You want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo? Make sure to tap subscribe, keep yourself up to date as we ramp up the Halo Infinite. So let's get right into the content here. Yes, you heard me right. Season 5 is just released onto the MCC and it comes with a lot of content. This actually is probably the biggest content drop we've had from the MCC besides a brand new game, obviously. But uh, for just new content coming to the game, since I think Halo CE's release back when we had like a 100 tier season pass then. Since then, it's been nothing but 50 tier seasons, but now we finally have 100 tier season this time around. So I wanted to kind of go through that, review it as well, and also go over some of the unique challenges, some of the unlocks that are tied with those challenges as well. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you see here when you're first logging in is a brand new splash screen. It's kind of just takes elements of all the previous splash screens and backgrounds we've had for the MCC. It just kind of tinted it gold to kind of give some uniformity there. But you know, it's kind of cool. It's reusing features, but it's kind of a cool thing just to kind of see it all come back because a lot of these older ones are pretty awesome, especially like Halo Reach and Halo 3 were pretty cool looking. So let's jump right into it. You can see the new season right here in the lower right hand corner. It's called the Anvil season. This is a reference to the Anvil Station, which was a joint effort by Spartans and Elites. After the Human Covenant War, the Elites and Spartans kind of work together. So then you can have different practices so you can kind of work together, have different kind of teamwork to improve each other's abilities in combat as well and this also kind of led to some weird combinations of weapons and stuff like that that we saw in halo online which is this is what kind of like ties in the lore of halo online into the actual mcc so it's kind of interesting stuff if you like to look into it so let's check out that season pass so i'm sure many of you are kind of interested in it about so uh, basically, throughout this whole season pass, you're constantly unlocking armor at some point. The first thing you unlock is the base level Akis, which is aka base level GRD. I know a lot of guys are looking forward to that, but the GRD comes later. But you can see kind of scrolling through, you unlock armor and different different weapon skins like this. Uh, weapon skin for the, the SMG just look pretty awesome. This actually might be my new favorite one right there. You see this Mariner one, but it's actually just the base level Mariner. So sadly enough, well, you get the Mr. Chief for doing something a little bit more special. In this game for sure so then you kind of scroll through you can see just kind of unlocking more armor sets throughout the mcc you get the desert camo for the br at tier 18 and then you move over you get the brand new body chest piece for halo reach at level 20 the exo chest piece right there uh, this one's actually looking pretty cool the scarlet thorn camo for the battle rifle does look really awesome i've shown it in previous video guys if you want to check that out for previous season 5 videos go check those out as well right there uh, you get the default right arm prosthetic body piece right here at level 25 for Halo Reach. So a lot of good Halo Reach, and but mainly Halo 3 customization, but some also some Halo Reach as well. This one is the Akis helmet, the CBRN variation, which kind of adds like the kind of weird like, little gas mask frills thing on the bottom. Not quite the GRD, I'm sure you guys remember. Again, we'll get to that a little bit later in this video. A uh, new weapon skin for the Palace and Pistol, which looks awesome. Uh, just a straight up uh, the Hunter Blood one, pretty simple, but it does look pretty awesome. I've seen it in the game already. You get the yellow Zealot skin for the carbine right there. And you got the digital tech camo for the pistol right there at level 40. And then as we can continue on through here, you can see some more stuff. We got the Mariner Cracked helmet for Halo Reach right there at 45. Uh, this one actually. This helmet right here, the Pioneer helmet, does look kind of funky, yes, but it actually can look pretty cool if you kind of combine it right with some other kind of Forerunner styled kind of armor. It actually will look pretty cool. Not gonna lie guys, it actually does kind of work in this game. I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, level 53 is, is where you unlock your gold battle rifle. I know a lot of people have been asking, where's my gold battle rifle? Well, there it is right there. Gold battle rifle. Enjoy that right there at tier 53. Another Halo Reach chest piece at 55. Scrolling over. That's actually the Splendor skin for the carbines, what I'm really looking forward to at level 58. And then we have the GRD Akis helmet. The Red Alert Sniper skin does look awesome at level 61. You guys want to take note of that one for sure. And also when you're unlocking these, remember that you can actually just kind of hop around between each tier 
that you want to unlock. So I say you want to unlock this and then you want to unlock that sniper skin. Well, you can. Uh, you just need to make sure that you get to this tier by unlocking everything and then you get into the next one. Continuing on, you can see at 71 to get some shoulder pieces right there. It's good to see that they didn't like divide up each shoulder piece and also just kind of made it into one set as together for each unlock, which is great to see right there for sure. Their Halo Reach armor piece at level 80 right there. More shoulder pieces, a helmet for Halo 3. You got the new Great Journey skin for the Bowerful, which does look pretty cool. It's like a cool, like metallic color shifting purple. It's pretty awesome. Trust me, it looks pretty freaking sweet. Their Halo Reach armor set at uh, level 90. And the last tier, 91 through 100 here. You got the Keeper Plasma skin, rifle skin, which does look awesome. Again, guys, you want to check that out. The gold SMG right there. We have a green fuel rod, and then you kind of keep moving on into a lot of the stuff. Actually, I found out that most of these armor sets are actually uh, precursors to Halo 4 armor set as well. So it's actually not exactly Halo 4 armor, but it looks very similar. And that is the GRD helmet that I'm sure you guys are all curious about right there. That's the one you saw in the promotional material for Halo Reach back in 2010 or 2011, whenever that actually was. Now you finally get to have it 10 years later in the MCC at tier 100. Now I'm sure many of you, me included, have not unlocked 100 seasonal points right now. So in this video, we're gonna, part of the video, we're gonna tell you some of the new seasonal challenges to take you into consideration and some of the seasonal challenges in the week just in general to unlock your seasonal points as soon as possible. So let's jump right into that. So we have weekly PvE and PvP challenges. They have a full week to take care of these right here. So you got win social games, win competitive games, uh, complete five games with at least a one KD. Style browser earn style medals in matchmaking games. This one I highly suggest not playing Halo 3 because you get very few medals in Halo 3 for whatever reason. Still in this game, you have a helping hand, which is assist teammates in matchmaking games. Again, don't play Halo 3 if you want to try to unlock this because basically is no uh, assist medal in Halo 3, but play play pretty much like any other Halo game. You'll get it for sure. Uh, for the PvE challenges, you get complete sets, full sets of match made firefight games. It's two of those. Story story, complete campaign missions on normal difficulty or higher. You get three of those you have to do. Heavy metal defeat, heavy enemies and enemy vehicles in PvE modes. You can do campaign or firefight in that one if you'd like. Battle hardened compete campaign missions on legendary difficulty. Honestly, what I do with this one, I just speed run tip of the spear two times over on legendary. You got it. It's pretty easy right there. Uh, cuddle up right here. Defeat enemies with close range weapons in PVE modes. This includes firefight and campaign. So now let's get into the seasonal challenges. These are some of the, the unlocks are tied to some of these challenges as well. And some of them are kind of interesting. To unlock the Mr. Chief helmet, which is the helmet I'm really looking forward to in this game, you have to complete a specific challenge, and that is perform an assassination against an elite to survive a fall that would have been fatal in Halo Reach to earn the Mr. Chief Mariner helmet. Now, there actually is a specific part in Halo Reach's campaign where you can try to pull this off. Obviously, you can add some skulls or do some weird things if you want. I've seen other people do it other ways as well, but this is the most common way. And I believe there's a challenge still tied to this option as well. If we switch over to this right here, I actually just went to the Achievement Hunter right here for Halo Reach by uh, Rooster Teeth. Basically, this mission on Pillar of Autumn, you get to see this elite right here. He'll kind of spawn generally right about there. There's this cliff right here. It takes you right to a checkpoint as well. So you just kind of jump off and just kind of hope for the best. And if you land and hit that elite with that assassination, you'll get the Mariner Mr. Chief helmet easily, which is what exactly I need in my life because that's going to be my go-to helmet for sure. We have another skin unlocked. This is for the Mongoose right here, which is called Release the Geese. In Halo 3, complete the mission Halo on the legendary difficulty with all players in Mongooses. On geeses? On geeses. Somewhere Duquesne 23 is rolling in in just pure pain here in that right there. <laughs> to earn the hazard pay mongoose skin. Leave it in the comment section down below. Is it mongooses? Mongoose? Mongai? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's how you get that. Now this next one's kind of interesting. The combo maker complete the guilty shot and who, what, when challenge to earn the lucky shot battle rifle skin. So you, you unlock this challenge by completing two other challenges, which are the Guilty Shot Challenge, earn headshots with the Battle Rifle in match made multiplayer games 343 times. Huh, I wonder where they came up with that number. <laughs> and also the Who, What, Win is win competitive match made games, 25 of those. Oddly enough, I've been finding matches in Halo Reach 
competitive so because i think it's just because it got rotated back in so you definitely want to check it out and also i found some in halo 3 as well it's been kind of weird make sure you have crossplay enabled to make sure that you got that working out for you guys for three seasonal points and 50k xp complete a cross game campaign playlist you can just play whatever short one you want to do there's a lot of like three mission ones out there degrees of difficulty complete campaign or sparring off missions earn additional progress for completions on higher difficulty now they don't really say exactly what extra progress you get for higher difficulty maybe a legendary might be worth it maybe just heroic might be just fine we'll look into that a little bit later guys you have to get 50 total so i'm assuming easy you'd probably do 50, 50 times but every time you do a higher difficulty it probably unlocks faster off the beaten path collect skulls terminals data pads and audio logs in campaign missions you get 30 of those now i did make a tutorial video on how to get all the audio logs in odst on this channel if you guys want to figure that one out there's an option there for you right there i'm sure there's plenty of other youtube tutorials to go check out right there as well firefight hero complete 20 match made firefight games for three seasonal x points and 50k xp 5 omg Complete 50 match made multiplayer games. God, it's pretty easy to do that one. I'll be getting that one. Three seasonal points on that one. Five grand. Defeat enemies. Earn additional progress by defeating enemy players in matchmaking. Five thousand times. <laughs> Five thousand times. You get 75k XP and four seasonal points on top of that. I think it just kind of comes with just playing the game a lot. That's all you need to do. And the last seasonal challenge that has an item tied to it as well, strong in the week. Complete weekly challenges to earn the quick draw nameplate, which they see right here. Quick draw nameplate is the Mr. Chief nameplate. Well, that's pretty awesome right there. You, know, you get four seasonal points and 200,000 XP right there. They have to do this 30 times over. And just for reference, there are 26 total challenges right now in PvE and PvP. Obviously, if you really try for them, you can. You might not unlock all of them, but you can probably knock this out maybe within like a couple weeks. So that's pretty awesome right there. So that's everything new with Season 5 in the MCC. A ton of more customization options for Halo 3 and Halo Reach as well. With some interesting challenges I'll certainly have to grind out for sure. So if you guys like these kind of informational videos, make sure to tap that like button. Check out the videos on the screen over here if you've missed any content from me recently or been on the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.